Yo, what it do, Shadis? It's your boy, Bogan. And today, I'm sure you already know it, we're gonna put some Brembo BBKs on the R34. We are going a six pot in the front and four pot in the back. So pretty much the reason why we're going to put the brake kit on is uh, that way we can go and get the correct measurements to get the brake fitment super close and so we can go and get our measurements done for the wheels for the R34. Um, so here's a little bit of installation guide of how to fit a custom BBK onto your R34. And here we go. A lot of you is gonna ask me, Oh no, why do you have the maximum wheel on your R34, huh? Well, because they were cheap and I got these for 150 bucks with tires so I don't need to sit on jack stands with no wheels. If you're into fitment, brake caliper fitment is equally as important as your wheel fitment. Does tighter always means better? In this instance, I think so. Now to get the tightest fitment, you'll need to fill out a something called a brake measurement sheet. That way it allows your wheel maker to pretty much build the wheels to hug around the brake calipers. And the better the measurements that you provide them, the tighter the fitment will be. For those of you at home that don't know what will clear what wheels, the two basic measurements that you'll need is the X distance pretty much means that from the face of the hub to pretty much how much your caliper sticks out. So that is your X distance. And the second measurement that you need is pretty much from the center of your hub centric to the first part of how far your brake caliper encounters the wheel. And with these two basic measurements, you should be able to get a basic clearance setup for your custom wheels to get that fitment real tight. So once we go ahead and get the wheels removed, there should be two 22 millimeter nuts on the back side of the calipers and that should be able to remove the calipers from the back. So usually, if you wanna make sure that you don't break your brake lines by just letting it drop, um, usually people what they do is they use pretty much a zip tie and tie it onto the suspension component so that way the weight of the caliper won't be over pulling on the brake lines and breaking them. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, the old hub is completely off the car. Many months later. Hey, what's going on guys? Um, this is our actually my third day of trying to get the brakes on. I um, ran into several issues of you know needing to trim the brake dust shield and also to getting the correct size hardware for the um, rear caliper to mount to the knuckle. And so today what we're gonna do is we are going to trim the Break dust shield, and we're going to finish at least on one side. Or is it BBK installed on the R34? Confusion. Yes, sir. Got that bitch threaded. All right, so now that we got the bracket mounted, let's go and test fit the rotors and the caliper. Hopefully, we didn't get this on backwards because that would be really AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. We'll tight go and tighten everything down, and we're gonna go ahead and let the old brake fluid out, and go ahead and take apart the brake lines, the old brake lines, and we're gonna go ahead and change it to our new one. So pretty much what you gotta do right here um, to get the rear brake lines out is there's this clip right here. Um, all you
you got to do is undo this clip, pull this bitch out, and literally just loosen it, and literally take this off. A lot of brake fluid is going to drop. Make sure you get some to catch the brake fluid. So, we got the little 10 mil here, and we're going to go ahead and let's see. Ah, almost fucked my fucking knuckle up. <laughs> All right, that's right. I gotta get a bottle. So I'm gonna slam my bottle of water right now just so I could get like a little container to get, catch the fluid. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the old brake caliper. If you do, if you are looking for a set of R34 GTT brake calipers, hit me up. I'll throw in the fucking rotors for free. You know what I'm saying? And put this shit back on here so shit won't be dripping. Let's see what I'm gonna do. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if it works, it works, right? Right. All right, now that we got that on there, um, definitely make sure to clean your hands before you decide to touch anything on the car or this brake fluid is literally gonna eat your paint off. So let's go wash our hands. Now is let's go ahead and take that wheel off and then we're gonna see how it's gonna look with some cooler wheels. These are the track wheels, huh? Yep. The corner panels goes on. Yep, it'll be a perfect. Obviously, this will be perfect. Pretty much be a straight line. Yep. Maybe go. So these are 18s, right? We could probably go like another inch smaller. We could run 17 on this bitch. So 17 inch faces. Yeah, it could definitely fit. So 17 inch faces, 18 step lift. I think that's what we're gonna want. That fit me though? For a Ooh. truck setup? Shit! Right. Shit ain't fucking right. We're gonna do a little shout out. Thank you so much, Elvis, for hooking us up with these Stancelation Nug Nuts. They're super cool. Um, we got them in the custom anodized orange copper. And uh, let's go and try these lug nuts on the wheels to see how they look. Sir. Sure. Hmm. Sheesh. Oh. Toyo tires. If you guys are watching this, I do need a tire sponsor. Love you guys' uh, brand and style. And, uh, you know, I would love to build this car and to one day be in the Toyo booth. So if you guys are watching this, I'm down if you're down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Saucy. SK and everything. Yep. All right, let you guys enjoy the shot. We just got this shit on. Video doesn't do it justice. Yeah. At all. It's like the track setup on this thing is gonna be kind of crazy. I love the wheel setup for the track setup. <laughs> right? It's like so clean, huh? Are these two piece, three piece? Two piece, two piece. There are two piece Mura style wheel um, that we custom designed for one of our cars, but I just definitely fell in love with the design how to get a set for myself. If you want to run a track setup on the R34, um, I definitely recommend getting something in the 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 ish. Um, so that way you could honestly, I've seen people actually run like 305s on these pages, you know, and it actually fits um, on the Z Tune style fenders, obviously. Um, but 305s on a 10 and a half, yeah, you'll, you'll have crazy grip at the track. Hi, Shotties. Thank you guys for watching this episode of the R34 Saga on Studio Cream Pie. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and the stuff that we're doing. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And I'll see you guys next episode. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe and hit like button. Um, and I'll guys and hit that bell button. And I'll guys. God damn it!